Thanks for joining this quick screencast on how to effectively troubleshoot your Lightning components. In this screencast, we're going to learn some handy tricks utilizing tools which are available to you in order to effectively develop and troubleshoot your components. First, be aware of the distinction between Lightning Web Components and Aura. These two frameworks are built differently, although they offer some interoperability with each other. More information on this can be found in the video description. It's highly recommended if you are developing your components in an org to enable debug mode for Lightning Components. This can be found in Setup. Search for Debug Mode. Once in the Debug Mode screen, identify your user. Select the checkbox, then select Enable. After refreshing your page, you will now see the screen is updated to indicate this feature is enabled. Another recommended option for troubleshooting your components is to enable custom formatters. Currently, this is only supported in Chrome Developer Tools. This is found by opening Chrome Developer Tools, navigating to Settings, under Console, and select to enable. Let's start looking at examples. Here we can see we have a simple component utilizing Lightning Data Table. For some reason, the table is not loading. So let's enable debug mode to see if we can get a better indication as to what might be going wrong. After enabling debug mode and refreshing the page, we are now given a more descriptive error message. In this example, we can see an error in setting a component attribute. The error message is telling us the current attribute does not exist. Let's look at our component. Upon closer inspection, we can now see there is a typo in the component attribute. Let's fix this and see the results. We can now see our component is working as expected. Let's take another example. In this example, we've added a filter, and we want to filter the results on our Lightning data table. All looks to be working fine until we execute the filter. Let's take a closer look by adding a debugger statement in our code. Adding a debugger statement is a useful troubleshooting technique, as this will breakpoint our code when we have either the Chrome or Firebug developer tools open. Executing our filter again, we can now see the execution is paused on our debugger statement. We can then step through our code to see what's going wrong. Lines can also be highlighted and evaluated in the console to check the contents of the attribute at runtime. In our example, we can see there is a typo in our row attributes. Let's correct these and execute the filter again. It works! Another useful technique is to isolate your component. This is done by creating a custom Lightning application in the developer console. Let's look at an example. First, we navigate to the Developer Console and select File, New, Lightning Application. Give your application a name and select Submit. Once created, we can include the components we're troubleshooting. Then preview the application and see the component render. If you want to include the Lightning Design System, you can include extends equal force SLDS. This will style your component similar to what you expect in Lightning Experience. Lastly, we have a browser extension available in the Google Chrome Store, which is the Salesforce Lightning Inspector. This Chrome extension 
gives you tools for inspecting Lightning apps. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have two buttons. One will fire an application event. The other will fire a component event. Once the extension is installed, we can use it by opening the Chrome Developer Tools. We should then see a tab labeled Lightning. Here we have subtabs such as Component Tree, Transactions, Event Log, and a few others. Let's look at the event log. If we toggle recording and fire our events, we can then see them logged. These can be inspected to view the details of the event along with the parameters. Hopefully these useful tricks will help you troubleshooting your components more effectively. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.